What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadskin, I'm back again, here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video, and today we're going to be doing a double skill up video, so it actually has finally arrived, it's actually been so long since Global have had a double skill up on Treasure Cruise, so we finally got it here today, let's go ahead and start emptying out all of this box space. Now, uh, I think the first thing I'm going to do is just empty out, like, the one-off units, uh, just to start things off. We've got a, um, a Blumenko there, but I've also got Blumenko books that we'll feed with that as well. <clears throat> um, we could actually uh, go with the Basilisk first. Yeah, let's go with the Basilisk. Let's see how our double skill up uh, luck is today. I'm hoping that, uh, that we can get some decent luck. The last couple of skill-ups that I've had have actually been pretty decent, uh, so I'm hoping, you know, for a good few skill-ups. I didn't actually get to farm Domino's Fortnite that much because at the time the Luchi Fortnite was out and I was definitely trying to farm that more uh, than the Domino Fortnite because the Luchi Fortnite is so good, you know, there's so much stuff to farm from the Luchi Fortnite. Let's go ahead and skip all this. Unfortunately, no skill-ups from the first set of Basilisk, but let's see if we can get some, uh, some nice sockets now. For the Basilisk, uh, considering he's special, I'm definitely going to be trying to get orbs on him. Uh, matching orbs would be the the most uh, ideal uh, socket to try and get on him. Uh, we actually won't feed five. We'll feed like three and three. That seems pretty seems pretty legit. So let's see. Hopefully, we can get at least at least one or two skill ups here. Would be really really nice. Let's skip it. We don't need to see this shit. Say character bonus. Let's see what we get. We don't get a skill up. Yo, I hope this isn't, uh, you know, like a sign of what's to come with the rest of my character box. But we do get another good socket, which is nice to see. Um, but I suppose when Domino comes back, uh, I'll probably end up farming it again because I didn't really farm that many skill books. Like, I didn't get that many ISO books. I didn't get that many Capone books. So I hope that uh, I'll be able to farm that when she comes back. So that would be nice. Uh, but at least one skill up would be nice from this set of Basilisk. Uh, we get, finally, we get one skill up. Thank you. Thank you. We get, <laughs> we get one skill up, but, you know, it would have been nice to get a few more. Um, but let's see what we get. Do we get our good socket? No, we don't. So, you know, two sockets and one skill up from, like, what was it? Like, 11 Basilisk is kind of bad, actually. That's actually pretty bad. But anyway, let's move on um, past the Dex units. We've got Enaru, which we'll actually probably feed very soon. We've got um, Kami. Let's actually feed uh, the stuff to Kami. I actually just maxed out my Kami's levels, so that's going to be really nice to see if we can get some good skill-ups and some good sockets as well. Uh, I think I've got like 20 here or something like that. I've got a pretty good amount of Kami's right now. I've already got one skill-up because I kind of had to do it because I had like no box space whatsoever. But we do get one skill up there, which is nice. We get another skill up. Very, very nice. Okay, we get two from the first five. That's that's already good going. That's already really, really good. So let's see what sockets we get. Ooh, hello. We get some pretty decent sockets. Now, I might switch over to cooldown and have cooldown and, and matching orbs. I think that's probably what I'm going to do. I think I'll probably do that. That seems like the best way to do it. Oh, no, I put my sockets in the wrong order. I I've already got to tell you guys. I really got to tell you guys. You got to put the sockets in the right order. You have to do it. I know I've been speaking to people, and some people have different opinions, but <laughs> I personally have an opinion on the way that sockets should be laid out. But we do get another skill up there, which is actually pretty nice to see. And we get, oh my god, we would have maxed out our chain sockets if we, if we had kept it. So let's go back to chains, let's go back to chains. That is actually really annoying, you know, we could have maxed out the, her sockets right there for the chains, which is pretty, pretty awesome. So hopefully we can get some more skill ups would be really really good. So this skill up is actually going to be available for throughout the whole next week as well, which uh, which is going to be good. So anything you farm within the next week, you can still use in double skill up. As we get three out of five, what the hell? That is crazy. Three out of five, and let's see what good sockets we can get. Come on. Oh oh oh! Nice nice. We're actually getting pretty decent socket luck in this video so far. So I hope that that continues. Uh, I, uh, with, with Eneru in particular, you know, we're definitely not going to max him. I've only got 55 Eneru, so there's a high possibility that we're not going to end up maxing him out. Uh, but I do hope we get good sockets along the way. That would be really, really nice. I'm still contemplating what sockets I actually want as we get two... Uh, we get two matching orb sockets on the final uh, batch of Kami's that we feed, so that is really, really good. I'll probably max her sockets very, very soon, and max her skill level really soon as well. Okay, moving on, we have uh, we have one copy of Int Ivankov. So, if you guys have seen the Revolutionary Army Sugar Fest, during that Sugar Fest, I actually pulled a duplicate uh, Int Ivankov. So, hopefully, it'd be really nice if we could get a skill up here. 
And we also do get a, an extra cotton candy as well. So hopefully we get a skill up. That'd be really, really good. Yes! Yes! Oh my god. Yes! That is so good. We get a skill up on the Int Revolutionary Ivankov. That is very, very nice. Okay, and we get a decent socket, but... Okay, I gotta tell you guys, when Ivankov came around and I actually got around to actually socketing this Ivankov, I couldn't get a single cooldown socket, and then I feed this single one and I get a cooldown socket. So, I think I'm gonna keep the sockets that I have currently, uh, but uh, Ivankov is coming back. But I think I like the sockets that I've got on it right now, so I think I'll keep, I'll keep the, the sockets that I have right now. Uh, we've got the raid bosses, we'll actually leave them towards the end, but let's go with Kuriel now. Now, Kuriel is actually a pretty decent special, uh, considering we don't have many good shooter units to use currently. Uh, but he's actually really good, he's got a really good special that uh, can help Stronghold Ace team. So if you guys have Stronghold Ace, this guy's really, really good to try and max out. As we, uh, we spend the first five and we get one skill up, which is good to see. If we can just, you know, keep that pattern, keep that pattern of just one skill up per five, I'd take it, I'd take it as we get another skill up there, which is good to see. Okay, let's keep it going. But yeah, uh, it, it's been a, it's been a struggle with Stronghold Ace because if you guys don't know, you know Japan in the One Piece Treasure Cruise, Japan they've uh, they've got a whole lot of units that really do support and facilitate the use of Stronghold Ace or Black Clad Ace, uh, the Legend. And uh, in global, we don't have that. We don't have the that that, that you know. Uh, facilitation of that unit. We don't have that many good units to support him currently, uh, which is kind of annoying, but uh, you know, Kuriel currently is one of the better units to use with the Stronghold Ace team, so that's currently why I'm trying to, you know, max out his skill and all that, as we get a double one there, which is nice. I suppose we deserved it because we didn't get one in the previous five, but yeah, if you guys uh, leave stuff in the comment section down below on uh, your skill up and how you guys went during your double skill up. I'm not even too sure how many I, how many more skill ups I need for Kuriel. Uh, I don't know how many I need. Hopefully it's not too many more. As we get another one there. So I think we've pretty much kept with the standard now. We've had one each five on, on average, which has been really nice. Now, I don't know how many more does he need. Does he go down to 12? I'm pretty sure he goes down to 10. I actually have no idea how many, uh, what his skill level goes down to, so... Can we max out this guy from this last five? No, we cannot. Okay, that's a little unfortunate, but it's whatever, it's whatever. I'll take it, I'll take it. Um, let's go with, uh... Oh, Killer. Yes, Killer. Killer is... It's really weird, because Killer is actually got a decent special when used with the 6-star Crocodile, who's currently out right now, the Cerebral Crocodile. Uh, if you actually use Killer with that team, it's really, really good. The only thing is, even at max cooldown, it's at 25 turns, which is just nuts. It is just absolutely nuts. It's, it's just stupid. It is just stupid. It really shouldn't be that high. It should probably go down to 15. No, nah, actually, no, 15 would be a little bit too broken. Maybe 20 turns. Like... It's just ridiculous, and we actually are getting absolutely destroyed. We've had 10 books without a skill up, which is kind of annoying. Considering I have so many of these books too. Can we get a skill? Okay, we finally get a skill up, which is nice. Can we get two? Can we get a three? No, okay. So we're still uh, behind the average for killer. But yeah, as I was saying, like... Killer has a special where he reduces your HP to one, and then he does 100 times his attack as damage, uh, which is really, really strong. It's so much damage output, and it's really good for Crocodile teams because uh, Crocodile gets a higher damage multiplier the lower his HP is. So if you're at one HP, you get the highest damage multiplier. And uh, Killer is also a cerebral character, which is really, really nice. It fits well into a Crocodile team. But as I said, the, the cooldown for Killer is just ridiculous. It doesn't need to be that high. It's just stupid. But uh, yeah, uh, we're getting wrecked on these skill ups right now for Killer. We've gotten four skill ups out of all these books. Hopefully we can get a few more. Let's go four and four. That seems like the most logical thing to do. And see if we can get, you know, a couple more skill ups here. Hopefully we can, because Killer is such a good, such a good unit. So hopefully we can do that. We've got four more to feed. Hopefully we can get that skill up, that nice and clean, nice and clean skill up. Yes, there it is. Uh, I, I don't know how many more we need. Oh, we got two out of four for that one. That's not bad at all. Three out of four. What the hell? That's all right. I'll take that three out of four. I think we were still behind the average, but let's actually go check out Killer. Uh, three more skill ups he needs to uh, to get maxed out, which is a little bit annoying, but it's whatever. Uh, Vista. Vista. Okay. I've had Vista for a while, and every time his books have come around in a fortnight, I just haven't had the time to farm him. So... Uh, what Fortnite was it? There was a Fortnite that came out and it had Vista. Oh, it was the Frankie one. That's right. The Frankie Fortnite came out and uh, I wanted to try and stock up my Halloween Frankie for a Stronghold Ace team. And uh, his books were in it, which is really good. I was able to farm quite a few books. So 
Uh, I've got 20 books. I uh, just fed five and got a skill up, which is nice. I think I'm going to need to be above average to max him out right now. So I hope we can get a two out of five here. That would be really, really good. We get a single one there. Can we get another one? No. Okay. I think if we keep this average, we won't be able to max him out. He only needs like five skill ups or something. So he doesn't actually need that much to max out. But I'm hoping we can pick up that nice and clean max. We get another skill up, which is nice. Can we get another one? No. Okay. Well, oh, okay, so we've got one extra. So let's go three and three. Uh, and we need, like, two more skill-ups. So this is going to be pretty tough. I don't know if we'll, we'll be able to do it. Mm, it's going to be very tough. We need two out of the last three. I highly doubt it. I really highly doubt it. But let's see how we go. Can we get another skill-up? We get another skill-up. Can we get one more? No, okay. So we're one away. Uh, I'll still take it. You know, one away from Max is very, very good. He's on 11 turns now. Uh, let's go with Blamenko now. So Blamenko is another unit I've had for a very long time. And... Literally, like, I got so wrecked the last time I had Blamenko books, I was unable to, to get that many skill ups on him. Like, I just got absolutely destroyed by double skill up. So hopefully we can pick up some nice, uh, some nice uh, skill ups here. We get one there, which is really good. I don't think he actually needs that many more skill ups. We get a two out of five for that one. Why couldn't that happen for Vista? That would have been so much better. But uh, anyways, yeah, he's a really good all manipulative uh, Blamenko for a strength team. Uh, he changes your decks. And uh, quick orbs, I believe, into strength, which is really good. So he changes the negative orbs for strength teams into uh, positive orbs, which is really, really good. And his stats are actually pretty decent as well. Uh, and we get another skill. Up. We're getting so close to max. Oh my god, we got another double. Oh my god, I think we might need a couple more. Either one or two more, I think, to max him out. Um, we got four, five. Okay, we got. I think we'll do three. And then we'll do four because we got three three more skill books and then we got the actual unit Blamenko. So we'll be able to get a socket as well. Hopefully it's a good socket. Unfortunately not getting a skill up there. Um, but where is this Blamenko? Here he is. Hopefully we can get a actual, an actual really good socket here. That would be so, so good. So let's see what we get. What are we going to get? What are we going to get? We're going to get it. We're going to max him out. Okay, we got another skill up. Is that max? Oh, he needs one more. I swear it's one more to max him out. That's so annoying, really. That is actually super, super annoying. And a recovery boost socket, which is really, really not that good. Really not that good. Next on the agenda is Ezo. So, Ezo, another really good orb manipulator, similar to Blamenko, but for dex teams, changing strength and quick orbs into dex, which is really good. Um, I actually used Ezo on a Stronghold Ace team, actually, and he's very, very good, um, along with Apu. So, you, there's actually quite a few good uh, dex shooters currently, so uh, Ezo is very, very good for a dex shooter team, but uh, it doesn't look like we're going to get close to maxing him because we're just getting absolutely destroyed, but we get another skill up, which is good. We get a 2 out of 5, so we're about average now, which is good. Uh, he's on 7, uh, skill level 7, so I don't know how many more he needs. I think it might be like 8 or 9 or something like that, but we'll see. Are we going to get any more skill ups? We get one more, which is awesome. Is that max? No, okay, what is he on now on turns? I think it might be one or two more, but anyways, it's actually super annoying. This skill up just seems to be like we're just maxing, not not, not maxing them, but getting them like a one-off max, which is kind of frustrating, but then again, like you can't really complain because like we're still getting very, very close. Getting close to max is almost as good as max, so I'll kind of take it. But next we've got Capone here. Now Capone is a very, very good unit. Um, used I used him a lot actually against Blackbeard, which is really, really strong. But uh, he actually has the same kind of special as Ezo and Blamenko, changing strength and dex orbs into quick. <laughs> kind of weird that we did that in sequential order with the uh, orb manipulators, but nonetheless, let's hope that we can get some more skill ups here. We got a super success, which doesn't really matter. Uh, we get another skill, which is good. Uh, I think he goes down to like, I'm going to say 12 or 10 turns, so... I don't, we're not going to get anywhere near that, but uh, it'd be good if we can get, you know, maybe two or three away. That'd be really, really nice. Um, let's see how we go. We got another skill up, which is good. No, no, no two out of five for that time. We got two left. Let's just feed them. And hopefully we can get a skill up. If we can get a skill up from one of these two, that would be really, really good. Did we get it? Did we get it? Oh, we do. <laughs> That's amazing. Yes. All right. So he's on skill level six, uh, 15 turns, which is okay. Uh, next, I think we've only got, yeah, we've only got one set of skill books, which is Namul, and Namul's special is really good, but the thing is, he's kind of outshadowed by, uh, the new revolutionary Koala, because she basically does the exact same thing with a lower cooldown and a higher multiplier, which is really, really crazy, uh, but nonetheless, it'd be really good to get a, uh, a max skill Namul as well, so, 
Uh, his skill books are actually currently available as I'm making this video right now on the Kami and Hachi Fortnite. So throughout the week, I'm still going to be able to feed books to him, which is really good and hopefully max out his skill. And we get a 2 out of 5 for that one, which is really nice. Really nice. So we got 1 out of 4 and then we got 2 out of 5. So that's uh, really, really good going. So can we get another skill up from this batch of 5 skill books? We do. Yes. All right. So he's on skill level 5. That's actually really good going. So he's on 21 turns. I think he goes down to 17. I'm not 100% sure on what he actually maxes out at, but uh, I'm sure it's uh, not. It's actually not as low as uh, as Koala, unfortunately. But now we've only got the two raid bosses left. Uh, we have uh, Alkiji and Eneru. So I've got 55 Enerus and I've got like 20 Alkijis. Now the thing with Alkiji is I only need three more skill ups. So I'm hoping. I am hoping that we can get these last three skill ups because our Kiji's kind of been uh, the worst thing for me. I've tried feeding without the double skill up and I've just been absolutely destroyed. So I'm hoping I can finally max him out. I've already maxed out his sockets. I just need those last three skill ups. Can we do it? Yes, there's one. There's one. There's two. Are we going to do it? Are we going to do it in the first batch? Oh my God. What the heck? What the heck? We max him out with the first batch of five. That is insane. <laughs> and as I said, I've already uh, maxed out his sockets. I've got the uh, cooldown chains and silence orbs. But the last man on our list is none other than Raid Boss Eneru. So Eneru, very, very good unit. Honestly, like one of the best quick units in the game, I would say. Uh, double attack to quick units for a single turn with his special. So, so good. And his captain effect is really good as well as we get a skill up there, which is good. Now, as I said, with 55 enemies, there's probably no way we're going to max out his sockets. Now, I actually have to think here because I don't even know what sockets I really want on this guy. I know I want to get chains, but the thing is, I kind of want to put healing uh, per turn, auto heal on his, on his uh, sockets as well. Because um, just in conjunction with that and, uh, and his actual captain effect as well, it just enables you to heal so much health. It's really, really good. Oh my god, we got no skill up there. That's really, really annoying. That is so annoying. Come on, I don't have many enemies, so I'm hoping that we can get, you know, some uh, some skill ups here, which would be good. But uh, we'll probably max out his sockets. I could imagine that we'll probably max out his sockets, but I doubt that we're going to max out his skill. Like, there's probably no way we're going to do that, unless if we get, like, four out of five, like, twice or something. But we'll see how we go. We get another skill up. Good, good, good. Really good. Yes, okay, so we're back to average now. We're back to average. Oh, we're one above average now. Yes. Oh, four out of five? What the hell? Four out of five. That is nuts. That is nuts. As I just said, I just said we need a couple of four out of fives. And uh, would you look what happens? Would you look what happened? Now, I have to think, do I want the slot rate boost socket? Do I really want that? Or do I want the, do I want the despair resistance? I really don't know. I really don't know. I actually think I might do it. I might do that. All right, you watch. We'll probably get like four out of five, like uh, despair res resistance now. But if we can continue to do that, that would be insane. Can we keep? Can we keep on going? That would be amazing. Let's see what happens. Okay, we get another skill up. That is really, really good. Okay, we're on seven. Skill level seven. Now I think he has to go to fifteen or sixteen, which is kind of annoying. Had him to go to 15 or 16. Oh, you watch. See, we got two cat, uh, despair resistance there. I think we probably would have maxed those out um, if we still had that one. But nonetheless, you know, having matching orbs is very, very strong as well. Especially for Eneru and his special as well. It's very, very good. Works well in conjunction with his special, which is nice. But can we get more skill ups? Yes, we do. Yes. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Okay. I'm not even going to complain because we got a four out of five just a second ago, but... Out of anyone to get a 4 out of 5 on, I, I'm glad it was Eneru. I'm really glad it was Eneru. We maxed out our cooldown sockets now, which is great. So hopefully we can get a few more skill ups. How many do we have left? We have actually quite a lot of Enerus left. We have quite a lot. Can we get another insanely lucky batch of 5 feeds? Can we do it? We get another skill up. Yes. Yes. Come on, can we do it? Oh my god, we got 2. Oh, we got 3. What? Oh my god, we got four! What is this? What the hell? I even said it to you guys. I even said it. That we would get two, four out of five. Well, I didn't actually say that we'd do it, but that's what we'd need in order to max this guy out. And we are looking very, very good right now. So he's on, uh, what is it, like skill level 12? He needs like four more skill ups. He needs four more. Oh, this is very, very close, guys. Are we going to be able to do it with 55 enemies? That'd be really good if we can. 
Okay. Go to super success. Doesn't really matter. And we get another skill up. Yes. Okay. Another skill. Two out of five. What is this? What is this? This is insane luck right now, guys. What the hell? Oh my god. We're not actually going to max out his sockets. What is this? We need some more. We need some more. We need more sockets. We need those matching orb sockets, guys. We need those matching orb sockets. Oh my lord. Can we keep going? Can we keep going with the skill ups? Oh my god. Are we going to do it now? Yes! Oh my god, we maxed out Enaru! How many left? Dude, we, we had so many Enarus left. What the heck? No way. We're getting really destroyed on the sockets though, which is kind of annoying. But like, how many did we have left? Oh my god, we did it in 40? We, we maxed my Enaru in 40 Enarus. What? That is nuts! But uh, I think that's it. I think that's really it. I'll probably feed the uh, the Enerus, uh later on for the uh, for the sockets. But um, yeah, that's it. And I've got some skill books up here for for just. I'm just gonna start collecting the legend books from now on, just in case you don't know what could happen. So I'm just gonna start collecting those guys. And uh, you know, if, imagine if we pull Rayleigh. Imagine if we pull Rayleigh in this upcoming Sugo Fest, and then we've got the skill books through double skill up. Oh my god, that would just be amazing. But I'm not going to say anything else. I'm not going to say anything else. We we ended up maxing our Eneru special, which was insane, from 40 Eneru copies. That is really, really good. I'm hoping that we can max out the sockets, though. But that is going to conclude yet another double skill up video. Hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. And if you guys have enjoyed it, make sure to smack the like button down below. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content that I post on my channel, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, then make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But other than that, guys, I will see you guys within the next video.